What's up, everybody? <laughs> it's your boy Mikey, and it's time for To the Edge of the Sky. Yes. Uh, as you can see, I've got the updated version. See? It's a new menu and stuff. So we're going to have the updated visuals, and we're going to continue now with Chapter 1. Yes. Uh, we just completed Chapter 0 last time you saw. Uh, not only did we meet our main antagonist, uh, like group, we saw the leaders of our uh, our enemy organization, Kairos, and uh, what was it? It was the magician, the Tempest, I think it was, and the High Priestess. I'm not sure about the the T one, but uh, we'll get into it real quick. So I played through the game or whatever again to uh, just get to the point I was at uh, last time. So let's get into it. I'm not exactly at the same point last time. It's like right before because I didn't want to pass it up. So I don't know. You'll see. You'll understand. Let's load it up. All right. Hold on. Let me uh, switch up my. There you go. Get a little nice little small one over there. Oh, hold on. This audio is super loud for me. All right, there we go. I couldn't hear myself, dang. All right. My eyes shift to zero. Yeah, so we are, uh, we're, we're getting encountered right now uh, by the magician. He's focusing on the scene before us. His usually gentle eyes are now sharp, boring holes into mags. Ah, now I remember this. You've got the upper hand, but you haven't attacked yet. <laughs> so what do you want? You tell her, J-Hope. The same as usual, my trigger finger is itching. You know, I wouldn't mind if this turned into a bloodbath. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man, is, so <laughs> is this gonna get dirty? The, like, uh, artwork or whatever I saw for chapter one, man, it looks like someone gets hurt. Ooh. Pre, she must be referring to the one known as the High Priestess. It seems like this Pre wants us alive then. I'm grateful her subordinate seems to listen to her. Since you all came this way, she thought you would, uh, she would greet all of you. She didn't want her honored guests getting lost in our home. Of course, I'm a nice girl, so I suggest be, I be the one to come here and pick you up. Question is, are we going to do this the easy way? Or the fun way? Mm, let's do it the fun way. I remember this. A tense silence fills the air as I frantically wonder what's the right move to make here. Everything about this woman seems guarded, yet eager. It's a trap! It's a trap. Well, now I know it's a trap, but it's a trap! <laughs> There's no openings that I could see that wouldn't end in someone's death. Six, step to the right. Zero, engage the magician the instant he does. Seven, provide support. Your boy Num June on mic. Nine's calm and pleasant voice filters through my comms, contrasting the tension of the moment. It's like a Final Fantasy VI like boss battle happening right now. That's what this music reminds me of. <laughs> but I don't have time to think about my orders because the men are already in motion. Without a hint of hesitation, six smoothly sidesteps Mag's guns. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was so loud. <laughs> oh my God. I turned the volume down on the music, but not the sound effects. Dude, that gunshot like deafened me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That like shit, like... It hurt a little bit, but it scared the living crap out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> Instantly reacting, she opens fire on him as he runs to the side. Very deafened from the gunshot. <laughs> but Zero runs toward her, causing her to spin around towards him. Guns aimed at his face. Responding to my adrenaline, my augs activate. Ooh, cyberpunk stuff. Time seems to slow. <laughs> That's when I see my opening. Her tension is divided. 
Her body is reacting to zero, but she's pulling her vision away from six. This is my chance. All right. There's probably going to be a... Like a, a... I run directly towards her. Her gains turns towards me, but her body is too slow. I know she won't be able to make a clear shot on anyone right now. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a quick time event or whatever where you have to like press it before it, like the timer runs out. Ignoring her guns, I grab both of her wrists with all my strength and twist them. Ooh! I'm going to pop those wrists. Ah, ah, oh. <laughs> That's my in pain noise. Her guns clatter to the floor, but Zero runs and swipes them up before she has a chance to do more. I can sense her annoyance behind her mask as she looks at me. Suddenly, she begins to struggle against my strength. Hmm. Then with a frustrated growl, something happens and I accidentally <laughs> clicked that. Sorry. <laughs> I was making sure my camera looked good. I overlooked that. Uh, having miscalculated the strength of her delicate frame, I stumble backwards from the forest. I'm open. There's nothing I can do. But before I can even catch myself, my back hits something hard. Ooh. It's J Hope! <laughs> I turn my head and I see that Six has his hands on my shoulders, setting me with a smile. I quickly look back towards Mags and Zero. Now in possession of her weapons, Zero slowly walks toward us from the other side of the room. He has both guns aimed at Mags, thus trapping her between Six and I, and her own weapons. Status report from Nam June. What do you want, bro? The magician has been captured. Hearing only Zero, Mags responds with a smile. Don't you think it's a little early to jump to conclusions? Zero doesn't respond, steadily keeping the guns he holds trained on her. You sure you can handle those? <laughs> sure you can handle those big stuff? <laughs> I'm sure I'll manage. Hands up. Mags laughs and slowly puts her hands up in the air. So you're not a completely trained dog then? Nice. Zero's eyes narrow, and I feel a surge of angers go through me. Surge of angers go right through me. Who are you to talk? Now I got one of their voices, too. <laughs> Everyone's going to have that voice by the end of this. Everyone's going to talk like this before the end. It's just, that's how everyone in the future talks now. <laughs> if your master tells you not to do something, you obey as much as any of us. Mags laughs again. There's a pretty big difference between a master-pet relationship and actual comrades. I open my mouth to speak, but Four's voice rings out in my head. Six are still alive, right? Seems like it. We're walking in now. Ah, you guys did awesomely. Oh my god, I don't know how to do eight different voices, so they're all gonna sound like the, the raspy voice. <laughs> So cool, so cool. I can't get V, like V's got a real deep voice. So cool. Nice work, everyone. Hold your positions. Hold your positions. Sorry, my headphones are annoying me. There we go. I relax just a little and allow myself to breathe. We finally completed part of our mission. With the magician under our control, we now have a bargaining ship in negotiations with Kairos. I'm so glad no one got hurt. I watched the magician while we wait. Her expression is inscrutable under her unique looking mask, but she stands there defiant. Her hands are up in a gesture of surrender, but I get the feeling that it's more for our benefit than anything. This guy, it's a trap. I know it's a trap, but it's a trap. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought this was farther ahead, but whatever. I, I If I didn't read this again, I would have never remembered what happened. <laughs> so all this seems pretty new to me again. <laughs> I tilt my head and begin to wonder if there are any more enemies around. Six, we... What? Mm, good evening, everyone. Now I remember this part. Mm, Eber voice time. <laughs> and this is High Priestess speaking. Are you a Skeletor? This is High Priestess speaking! <laughs> <coughs> oh. mm, High Priestess speaking! <laughs> we'll, we'll figure that voice out as we go. The main leader of Kairos? 
doesn't look good, guys. A woman's deep voice. Oh, it's deep. So deep. Hmm. The deep woman's voice rings throughout the line. <laughs> but it sounds as like though through a PA system. I just wanted to formally greet you all. And thank you for playing with Mags. She was burning to meet you all. I do. I like the Skeletor kind of voice better. That, that's, what, that's what I'm going with. Additionally, I wanted to thank you for your help. Thank us? Damn it. This can't be good. <laughs> I told you it was too early to be celebrating, didn't I? While you visited us in our home, we were able to turn back the tide at yours. Oh, now I remember. Oh my god, our base is like on fire. Seriously? Seriously, dude? Hmm, I've always wanted to see this, actually. Thank you for falling into our trap. <laughs> <laughs> Olympia is now under Kairos' control. What? Chapter 1, Phase 1, Resurgence. Ooh. Mikey's looking fresh. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I wish they did have like a male version. She looks cool though. Like a male version of that would be so dope. I look, I look so dope with that. Those fresh glasses and purple hair. Like this, this little part of my hair all purple. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I tried doing that like in the last thumbnail. I, I'll try it again. <laughs> a trap, but how? Are you kidding me? Before anyone can respond, there's a sudden sound behind us. The three of us in the room all turn towards it. Oh yeah, this is what I was thinking about last time. My face covers up people when I'm... There's three of them. Hold on. No, it's too big. And now you can't read it, but... Oh, whatever. You can see their faces. You can hear my voice. I'll switch back. Well, all of us except Zero, who keeps his eyes trained on the magician. I activate my comms. Guys, hey, be careful. Four's voice cuts off mid-sentence. Four? Four? Heh, <laughs> took him long enough. Then now they both have like Skeletor voices. Who? Like I tell you, it was worth a shot. Zero, keep an eye on the magician. I'm going to check out the others. Got it. Six turns to leave through the doors we had entered through, but they burst open all on their own. The doors are bursting open. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I mean, as soon as <laughs> I change it, because I'm like, oh, it's going back to two people. <laughs> I'm going to keep myself down here. <laughs> An unexpected scene plays out. Icarus has his arms thrown around Nine's neck as the taller man struggles to get him off him. But behind Icarus, three is, well, he's hitting Icarus in the head over and over again with the tablet. <laughs> he's not doing nothing. <laughs> Stop hitting me. I would if you just go down already. <laughs> oh man, come on. You gotta make Jin like a super weak guy like that? Oh, I guess, I guess you gotta make your antagonist strong. But come on, Jin's the best. <laughs> Eight and five follow the men in, their faces both annoyed and anxious. You can do it, three. Let go of our leader. When I shake off the surprise at an almost comical scene, I see six already rushing over to jump into the fray. But then a red blur streaks out the corner of my eye. I spin around to see the magician throwing a punch right at zero. Not little baby John Cook. You watch out, lady. <laughs> and she's way too close for him to fire the gun he's holding. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to do something. Zero, look out! I reach out towards him, even as I move. But it's too late, I can't stop it, oh no! The magician's first connects, fist connects with his chest. 
I can see zero body shake with the force of the blow, but he doesn't move, not even a little. He's a strong man. He peeps the magician's guns, or he keeps the magician's guns firm in his hands. She stares at him, her eyes wide behind her mask. Still running towards the two, I can hear Zero's labored breathing as he looks down at her. Is that all you got? Thought a Valkyrie could hit harder. Ooh, jump into the fight. Reaching the magician before she can notice me, I latch into the magician's arms. I roughly pull her away from Zero, but reacting almost instantly, she jerks her elbow backward toward my stomach. Oh, oh, oh! I catch it with my hand, gripping her arm like a vice, and I'm about to snap it. The magician turns her yellow eyes narrow at me. But before either of us can make a move, her whole body shudders. Her eyes roll up into her head as, as she stumbles forward a few steps. What's she doing? Her body drops to the ground with a heavy thud, revealing Zero standing one of, with one of her guns in hand with his finger around the trigger as Zero twirls the gun and grins at me. Did he just, like, shoot? Hitting her with the weapon. Ooh, nice irony. Oh, he just, like... Pistol whipped her. I was like, oh my god, did he just kill her? <laughs> Little baby Chuck. You're a murderer. <laughs> no, <I'm playing. laughs> oh, wait. I think we've already killed people at this. <laughs> Have we? Oh, yeah. Um, Maybe at our base. I don't know if we killed anybody. I know Sugar did for sure. He was snapping some necks. One could say literally. Three smug voice floats from across the room. I look towards the voice and see that everyone is watching us. The battle apparently won. Six stands behind Icarus, restraining the Kairos operative's hands behind his back. The gun isn't made of iron, though. Can you not let me have one joke? Honestly? No. Guys, talk later. We need to retreat. That's right. We don't know what High Priestess is planning, or this place is really empty. <laughs> It's so. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Trying to do different voices for everybody. <laughs> He's getting hard. I know I'm not even doing it barely at all, but trying, to, like, attempting to, like, with the BTS guys. Like, oh my god. <laughs> We're going right back to Raspy voices. We gotta get back to the roof. I'll take this guy with us. My name's J Hope. I'm the laughable, adorable J-Hope, and this is my voice now. <laughs> Free champagne in my airplane. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm having too much fun with this, right? <laughs> I'll take this guy with us. You know what? You got to do, like, I'm thinking, like, Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's J-Hope, right? Michelangelo? I don't know. I'm a Michelangelo too myself, so <laughs> I understand the J-Hope. So I'll take this guy with us. Let's go, punk. Leave the magician, though. She's too much trouble. You think I'll come along that easily? I know you will. Six moves his arm almost imperceptibly, but Icarus lets out a short but pained yell. Ugh! I'm gonna look forward to finding out how you got here. But for now, let's move quickly. Our escape path decided, we rush out the room, heading towards the rooftop. After navigating Kairos' building's twists and turns, we finally make it out back into the rooftop. I bend over, panting a little from our prolonged yet rushed exit. <sighs> Close to the airship now. I can't believe we didn't come. I can't believe we didn't come across anyone. Check out my awesome sunglasses. <laughs> Ooh, how would V go? V has that like deep. He's like, oh, oh, huh? my name is V. I'm glad we didn't. <laughs> I can't do anything for it. <laughs> Oh my god, and now, oh, Nam June with glasses, man. Do I get glasses in here right here? Oh no, that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's worrisome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nam June, guys. I'm the leader of BTS, the smart one. <laughs> I don't know. 
Why? Why is it worrisome? You think it's a trap? Yeah, they said they're attacking our base and we went right back. What? Wait. So we just went right back to our base? We didn't like... I guess that girl's knocked out and the other dude's with us. This sounds like another trap. It is another trap. <laughs> this is it, this is not another trap. It's got to be a simulation or something. Cause remember, I don't know. I'm still I'm still under the impression this is a simulation. <laughs> no, dude. They're actually they're like trapped in some alternate universe because V stabbed his dad. <laughs> Oh man, my face is over at Aunt Jude's. I didn't even notice that. I gotta go to the bottom again. Hey, I'm J Hope. We've got company. I'm suddenly aware that we're not alone on the roof. Oh man, something's getting real right now. You just love spoiling surprises, don't you, Six? Bet you're real fun at parties. Ah, seriously, you again? I thought you might be missing me. Oh, that was her. Who'd ever miss a harpy like you? Somehow the woman we left passed out cold in the lobby is already back up. <laughs> and this time, there's a huge black cannon hefted on her shoulder, and of course, it's him right in us! Whoa! <laughs> As she stares us down the sides of it, I can sense that she has no intent to hold back this time. Put simply, she's pissed. <laughs> I love it. But so am I. I'm tired of you, and you're in our way. I'm done playing games here, buddy. I focus my augs, and everything slows down. Augmentation active. The cannon can hit a large area but she still has to aim it somewhere. The magician's eyes flit towards Zero and the cannon moves slightly towards him. It's so brief, it's likely any normal person would have missed it. Of course, he's the one who KO'd her though. He hurt her pride. So she's temperamental and not quite so rational then. Without another thought, I throw my whole body at Zero. With my augs activated, Time slowed for me like this. I can see Zero's eyes shift from Mags to me. <clears throat> for a second, his body tenses, and I think he might actually be getting ready to throw me to the side. But then her eyes meet for just a moment, and I can see understanding dawn on his confused face. <laughs> it's about to get real, y'all. Sorry, Zero. He tenses, but doesn't make any other motions as I collide right into him. Using my force to propel us both, I grab onto his jack in the moment I get close enough. <laughs> that was loud as hell again. <laughs> we roll away. Just an explosion hits the spot where Zero is just standing. With us tumbling like this, I can't stop back and look. Not even when a second explosion goes off behind us. I thought it was gonna explode. What? What was that? Was someone hit? There's no way she could have recharged that weapon that fast. Frustrated by how long everything seems to be taken, I deactivate my augs. Woo! The second we come to a stop, I sit up and look back towards where the explosion went off. Michael Bay style. But there's so much smoke, I can't actually see anything. All I can hear is coughing and the sounds of confusion. I shouldn't move. I could end up becoming a bigger target if I do. I hope everyone's all right. I feel the ground move beneath me and look down, only to realize that the ground is actually zero. I can barely see his face with all the smoke, but he isn't looking at me. I can tell he doesn't look happy though. Oh, I'm sorry. I lightly hop off him, feeling guilty. Still lying down, Zero covers his face for a moment. He gently sacks. Wait, I was like, like standing on top of him or something like that. <laughs> I didn't get what was happening there for a second. <laughs> uh, he gently smacks his cheeks with both both hands several times. Gotta wake up. Are you okay? Trying to peer through the smoke at him, I reach out a hand. But Zero just lifts both legs and jumps up in one smooth motion. 
I'm fine. I nod and go back to trying to see through the smoke. I realize that there's definitely something there. I could see something metal gleaming in between the white puffs of smoke and something narrow and long attached to it. After a moment, I realize that's actually an arm and it's holding a giant axe. Or maybe a scythe. <laughs> My whole body senses. Another Kairos agent? As the smoke continues to clear, I hear the others shouting out Zero's name and Zero and I's name, asking if we're all right. I know we only have seconds of cover left, any. If the person doesn't already know we're here, it's better if they know we're here so they can help. We're okay. But there's someone here. The tall figure finally moves and the wisps of smoke part around them. I let out a small gasp at the presence before me. Who is this? New character. She looks cool. All I can sense is radiating power. This one's way more dangerous than the magician. Oh. Is this the uh, Tempest or whatever? I forgot what her name was. I can't help but feel it. The tall, muscular being before me. Especially when she has easily lifts her giant scythe and sweeps it across the air between us. A scythe, that's dope. I want a scythe. I don't even have time to move. The air blows my hair in every direction as the smoke clears from her motion. Instinctively, I move to get in front of Zero, but he steps in front of me instead. Clenching my fist, I glare at his back. This kid! <laughs> but for all our attention, this person pays us no mind, instead talking to herself. This lady's crazy. <laughs> I can't see in all the smoke, and of course there's no wind tonight. But I'm certain she's fled already. Shh, coward. Wait. She just came to swipe her scythe around? Or, or she's saying, wait, I'm a little confused. Oh, well, she won't get far with those kinds of in injuries. Relaxing, I tilt my head as the woman's eyes pass over zero and I without any interest. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Are you looking for the magician, too? Nine appears from the remaining smoke besides the yellow clad person as if on cue. Of course they are. This is Operative 10, leader of Phantom Beta! Boom, 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 boom. Alright, she looks cool. I like her. I'm good too, because I was like, man, this is like a bad guy. I'm like, what the hell is happening here? They're not like trying to kill us right now? That's cool. Phantom Beta. Interesting. So we're. Were they taking care of things while we're on our little mission? <sighs> Let's find out. This is Operative 10, leader of Phantom Beta. Oh, and it's probably best if I tell you now that 10 prefers neutral pronouns. Another voice speaks from beside me and I jump. I can't pick up any ratings here besides us. <laughs> now he sounds like Bill and Ted. <laughs> I think both Mags and Icarus got away in that second explosion. Even if she did, she'll be dead soon enough. Don't bother thinking I missed her with a weapon this big in close quarters. Although I do like to see bodies as much as anyone. Gotta confirm the kill after all. Ooh. They're nasty. <laughs> there it is! I swallow, feeling study very out of place. I gotta I gotta confirm the kill. Confirm the kill. <laughs> I like that, man. That's dope. I swallow feeling suddenly very out of place. That explosion. What happened? What do you think happened? I saved your asses. Tank kicks something and I hear the sound of metal grinning against metal. I look down and see the pieces and ashes of that cannon all over the ground. Whoa. How did she? They do that without hurting themselves, much less anyone? Well, I don't know why or how you're here, but we're grateful for that. It emerges from my other side, and I clutch my heart. If even I get close to you, you should really work on your perception, you know? It's been a really long night. <laughs> of course, but if a little smoke and mirrors is all that, mirrors is all that needs to uh, let you go... Uh, if a little smoke and mirrors is all that's needed to let your guard down, you'll just let anyone get close. Five appears on the other side of eight and nods. It's important to be aware of your surroundings. You too, Five? We're sneaky. 
Three's voice comes next to nine. <laughs> We're all hiding back here. <laughs> Three's voice comes from uh, next to nine across from us. Coming from you, that almost sounds like a joke. Oh, we don't have time for your banner. We need to get out of here. There may be more reinforcements coming. Ten is right. Let's go to the airship fast. I can see the best is in smoke. I can see the best. <laughs> I was like, what? I can see the best is in smoke. I can see the best is in the smoke. He's got like night vision, y'all. <laughs> Six gives us no time to argue and begins heading toward the airship. With no other choice, we rush off after six. When we get inside, we all haul straight for the cockpit. But then the pilot isn't there anymore. Do you think she went inside after we came in? Most likely, this is her home. So what are we going to do now? Leave. Ten hops in the pilot seat. I'll pilot. One of you scan the ship to make sure there's no stowaways. What do we do if there are? Ten already moving quickly to check the system doesn't hesitate to respond. We throw them off. You're out of here, buddy. Nine size. Ten. Prepare for takeoff. What do you need us to do? Get to an area if you know what you're doing. Otherwise, sit your ass down. What? Three is caught off when the ground beneath us begins to shake. As he falls flat on his ass, I reach out and grab the nearest solid object to hold on to. We're moving already? Come on, Three. Holding on to a nearby chair, Eight bends down and helps Three up. Everyone, you heard Ten. Find a seat. I'll do the scan and then go double check the uh, ship with Zero once we're up in the air. Do you need me to help? You stay here. I can see that you're exhausted. Get some rest, okay? As soon as he says it, I realize once again that I really am. I'm in no position to argue. I find a seat and sit down. I push off my hood and finally take off my ARO, rubbing the bridge of my nose. The airship vibrates and that unsettling feeling that I've felt for that I've left some part of me down the ground below sets in. I close my eyes. It's sleepy time. You know what? I'm actually gonna save it here. And this is where I'm gonna call it quits. She took a nap, I'm taking a nap. <laughs> I think that's just a good time. What, we did 30 minutes? Yeah, I wanted to play for like a half hour, so that's good, perfect. All right, so let's see. We met a new character. They're pretty, you're right, neutral pronouns. Yeah, so they, they're very, very dope. They have a scythe and a metal arm and all that, so they kicked ass, that was awesome. Uh, We knocked out Magician, right? Yeah, we got her in captivity. We got Icarus in captivity. Our base is fine. We got to go get the High Priestess. She's calling us out, dude. We got to take her down. And I think our new character is all about it. So, yeah. So now, next, don't worry. Next episode will already be well far into it and everything. We won't have to relive like the last like five minutes of what we did in the other episode. Sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure I got everything and, you know... I didn't want to. I didn't want to miss nothing. <laughs> yeah, so we're definitely gonna continue. I really like this so far. Let's go back to the main menu. Did I save. Yeah, I'll save again. Yeah, I just want to go to the main menu so I can pull up like. Yeah, I'm a big screen. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We're definitely continuing. Uh, so yeah, we'll start off uh, right at the exact spot we were, just where the save was. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll try and get it up by next week. I'm trying to do these week by week and everything. Um, yeah, if there's any more updates or anything on this game? Let me know. Put them in the comments. Uh, how many times have you played this game? Am I where, am I close to finishing chapter one? I don't know how long these chapters are, so it's a little hard to gauge like how long I should do each like episode and stuff. I hope I ended in a good spot. If I ended in a bad spot, let me know. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you did. Uh, yeah, we're going to try and have at least once a week have these guys up because I like to the edge of the sky. I love it. <laughs> oh, and rec any other uh, visual novels you can recommend, shoot them in the comments too because I'm very interested in this in this uh, genre, man. This is literally my first exposure to anything like this, so I want to learn more. Yes. Mm, yes. <laughs> hey, 
again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and we'll see you next time, all right? Good night.